हेलो माय डियर स्टूडेंट्स जय स्वामीनारायण सो स्टूडेंट्स दिस इज आवर पार्ट फोर ऑफ आवर चैप्टर नंबर फाइव द फंडामेंटल यूनिट ऑफ लाइफ ओके सो इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर और इन प्रीवियस वीडियो पार्ट नंबर थ्री वी हैव सीन अबाउट आवर सेल ऑर्गेनल्स एंड वी हैव आल्सो फिनिश आवर साइटोप्लाज्म टॉपिक इन सेल ऑर्गेनल्स वी हैव डिस्कस अबाउट आवर एंडोप्लाज्मिक रेटिकुलम ई आर गोलगी एपरेटस लाइसोजोम्स एंड माइटोकॉन्ड्रिया ओके नाउ इन दिस वीडियो वी विल स्टार्ट फ्रॉम आवर प्लास्टिड टॉपिक्स सो प्लास्टिड्स आर प्रेजेंट ओनली इन प्लांट सेल ओके सो दिस इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग प्लास्टिड ओनली कैन बी सीन इन प्लांट सेल ओनली नाउ देर आर टू टाइप्स ऑफ प्लास्टिड क्रोमो प्लास्ट इट मीनिंग कलर्ड प्लास्टिड विच हैव कलर एंड another is leucoplast which has not color uh, or which has white color or they are colorless plastids okay so keep in mind this thing plastid are two types chromo and leuco now chromo meaning color and leuco meaning colorless now chromoplast containing the pigment chlorophyll are known as chloroplast okay now in the chromoplast chromoplast meaning colored plastic and they contain chlorophyll okay which has green color chlorophyll will give the green color to the plant okay so that's why plants are green because of this chlorophyll and chlorophyll is chromoplast is present in chromoplast and called as chloroplast so chloroplast are important for the photosynthesis in the plants as we have already discussed about photosynthesis okay so photosynthesis is very important for the plant because energy is generated during this photosynthesis and plant will take that energy from sunlight okay so this is why this is about photosynthesis now chloroplast are also contain various yellow or orange pigments in addition to chlorophyll chloroplast have a uh, yellow color also and orange color also as we know there are some fruits fruits flowers are there orange yellow blue different different colors of flowers are there different color of fruits are there so this is because the uh, pigments color pigments are there that's why so chloroplast have yellow and orange color also now leucoplast leucoplast are primarily organelle in which material such as starch starch is a complex sugar oil starch meaning storage of sugar and oil oil meaning lipids and proteins so granules are stored so starch oils and protein and granules are stored in leucoplast so this is the important of leucocytes okay leucoplast sorry so uh, useful leucoplast are useful in storage storage of starch oils and protein and primarily organelle in which materials these materials are present now the internal organization of chloroplast consists of numerous membrane layers embedded in the material called as stroma okay guys so this is our chloroplast diagram or we can say chloroplast figure you you can see here this is outer layer of chloroplast and you can see here stroma has appropriate enzymes and a suitable ph for the kelvin cycle so this is called a stroma this uh, inner layer okay light blue color is stroma so internal organization of chloroplast consists of numerous membrane layers embedded in material okay so this is the material and these are another organelles okay so this material is called a stroma now these are similar to mitochondria in external structure okay uh, we have already seen about mitochondria so mitochondria is also similar structure like this chloroplast humne jo piche mitochondria dekha wo bhi kafi is tarah hi dikhta tha chloroplast jaisa hi theek hai so like the mitochondria plastids are also have their own dna and ribosome as we know mitochondria has its own dna and ribosomes similarly chloroplast also contain the own dna dna meaning inheritance material okay deoxy deoxyribonucleic acid 
and ribosome also uh, different for the plastids okay you can see here double membrane thylakoid granulum we will discuss it later now we have another cell organelle is vacuoles so vacuoles are storage sacs sacs meaning bag like structure sac meaning bag like structure for the solid or liquid content so vacuole will be contain the solid or liquid content vacuoles are small size in animal cells while plant cells have the very large vacuole okay this is the difference in size between animal cell and plant cell so small size we can see in animal cells but large size we can see in plant cells the central vacuole of some plant cells may occupy 50 to 90% of the cell volume you can think about it uh, how big is vacuole in the plant cell okay we, it will occupy 50 to 90% are they say jada of the cell volume in plant cell vacuoles are full of cell shape and provide the turgidity and rigidity to the cell okay so for making the whole uh, structure of cell for maintain to maintaining the structure of cell it is very important vacuole because it it will are full of shape cell shape and provide the turgidity okay turgidity meaning to strengthening strengthening the cell wall and give will give the rigidity okay that's why so very important vacuoles are now many substances of importance in the life of plant cell are stored in the vacuoles many substances okay as uh, we have already seen the storage uh, is 50 to 90% of size larger size so that's why the storage also is there and many substances are stored in vacuoles this include the amino acid okay now which type of substances okay so amino acids amino acids are the building blocks of protein sugars okay like glucose and various organic acid and some proteins also the substances for uh, stored in the vacuoles okay so this or all, all things keep in mind amino acids sugar various organic acid and some proteins are stored in this vacuole of the plant cell in single celled organism for example amoeba okay amoeba is a unicellular organism the food vacuole contains the food items that the amoeba has consumed amoeba has already consumed food that will that will be stored in this vacuole in some unicellular organisms specialized vacuole also play important role in the expelling excess water and some waste from the cell okay so this is another role of important role we can say of the vacuoles in the unicellular organism especially in unicellular organism so specialized vacuoles are there and they are they will expelling the excess water it meaning excess water to remove out they will remove the excess water they don't required water uh, in more amount so the excess water will be removed out and some waste also waste material of the cell also will be removed out now each cell thus acquires its structure and ability to function because of the organization of its membrane and organelles in specific way okay so uh, this is uh, important for the cell to acquire its structure it meaning to maintain their structure and ability to function because the cell is a fundamental unit of life so that's why the function is very specific and very important for the life of its membrane and also organization of its membrane and organelles in specific way so the cell thus has a basic structural organization as we have already discussed all the things about cell okay so cell has basic structural organization fundamental that's why we are uh, we are saying it fundamental structure okay this helps the cell to perform the function like respiration obtaining nutrition and clearing the waste material of the cell or forming the new proteins so this all are the basic functions fundamental functions are the cell perform the function like respiration okay respiration meaning exchanging of oxygen and dioxide carbon dioxide and obtaining nutrition also in the form of glucose for example 
एंड क्लियरिंग ऑफ वेस्ट मटेरियल वेस्ट मटेरियल लाइक यूरिन ओके इन द ह्यूमन्स और द फॉर्मिंग न्यू प्रोटीन्स ओके सो न्यू प्रोटीन आर वी ऑलरेडी डिस्कस अबाउट अवर डी एन ए एंड न्यू प्रोटीन आर फॉर्मिंग ओके सो देर आर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट ऑर्गेनल्स फॉर डिफरेंट फंक्शन ओके सो दस द सेल इज द फंडामेंटल स्ट्रक्चरल यूनिट ऑफ लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म ओके डेट्स वाई हियर द कंक्लूजन हियर द एंडिंग ऑफ चैप्टर द फंडामेंटल स्ट्रक्चरल यूनिट ऑफ लिविंग ऑर्गेनिज्म इज द सेल इट इज ऑल्सो द बेजिक फंक्शनल यूनिट फंक्शनल यूनिट बिकॉज दे परफॉर्म द फंक्शन ऑल द बॉडी ओके फंक्शन फॉर ऑल ऑफ द बॉडी एंड फंडामेंटल स्ट्रक्चर बिकॉज द बॉडी द बॉडी इज मेड अप ऑफ सेल डेट्स वाई देर आर डिफरेंट डिफरेंट कंपार्टमेंट्स इन हायर एनिमल्स इन हायर प्लांट्स टिश्यू आर देर ओके सो टिश्यूज आर मेड अप ऑफ सेल्स डेट्स वाई द सेल्स आर द फंडामेंटल स्ट्रक्चर ओके छोटे से छोटा यूनिट है हमारे शरीर का क्योंकि सेल ज़्यादा इकट्ठे होंगे तो ही पूरा शरीर हमारा बनेगा डेट्स वाई द फंडामेंटल स्ट्रक्चरल यूनिट एंड फंक्शनल बिकॉज वो सब कार्य वो सेल ही करता है डेट्स वाई नाउ अवर अनदर इम्पॉर्टेंट टॉपिक इज सेल डिविजन ओके अब सेल सेल के बारे में हमें सब कुछ पता है यहाँ तक लेकिन अभी सेल डिविजन होना भी इतना ही जरूरी है बिकॉज सेल विल डिवाइड इन टू फ्रॉम वन टू टू फ्रॉम टू टू फोर ओके सो सेल डिविजन इज इक्वल टू द ग्रोथ ऑफ ऑर्गेनिज्म रिप्रोडक्शन ऑफ ऑर्गेनिज्म ऑल्सो अकर इन सम ऑर्गेनिजम्स ड्यू टू द सेल डिविजन ओके सो द ग्रोथ ऑफ लाइफ इज फुल्ली डिपेंड ऑन सेल डिविजन नाउ न्यू सेल्स आर फॉर्म इन ऑर्गेनिज्म इन ऑर्डर टू ग्रो टू रिप्लेस ओल्ड वन ऑल्सो ओके डायड सेल्स विल रिप्लेस बाय दिस थिंग सेल डिविजन एंड इंजर्ड सेल ऑल्सो एंड टू फॉर्म द गैमेट्स रिक्वायर्ड फॉर द रिप्रोडक्शन ओके फॉर्म द गैमेट्स गैमेट्स मीनिंग देर आर मेल एंड फीमेल टू गैमेट्स आर देर सो दे विल रिक्वायर फॉर द रिप्रोडक्शन रिप्रोडक्शन मीनिंग टू प्रोड्यूस द न्यू प्रोजेनी न्यू ऑफ स्प्रिंग ऑफ सिमिलर टू देयर पेरेंट्स ओके वी विल डिस्कस इट लेटर रिप्रोडक्शन सो दिस आर द सम फीचर्स वाई सेल डिविजन इज रिक्वायर्ड बिकॉज टू ग्रो टू रिप्लेस ओल्ड वन डेड एंड इंजर्ड सेल्स एंड फॉर्म द गैमेट्स नाउ द प्रोसेस बाय विच न्यू सेल्स आर मेड is called as cell division okay so cell division is we can say this uh, like uh, uh, the forming factory manufacturing of the cells we can say factory like structure okay so the this process of forming new cell is called as cell division okay division meaning from 1 to 2 from 2 to 4 there are two main types of cell division keep in mind very important thing there are mainly two types of cell division we uh, i mean the cell division occurs in two ways mitosis and meiosis okay keep in mind this thing mitosis m i t o s i s mitosis and m e i o s i s meiosis this is called as meiosis now we will see the difference the process of cell division by which most of the cells divide for the growth is called as mitosis mitosis meaning the main process of cell division it meaning the most of the cells of our body are dividing for the growth is called as mitosis for the growth here the term uh, to be remember is growth okay for the growth is mitosis but in meiosis in the in this process in this mitosis process each cell called mother cell okay each parent cell is called as mother cell and will be divide into the two identical daughter cell okay mother and daughter okay mother will give two daughter cells now the daughter cells have the same number of chromosome as the mother cell okay as we know chromosome what is chromosome we have al- al- earlier discuss about chromosome now the dna contain our chromosome contain the all the dna of the body okay so dna is as we know is a inheritance material so chromosome is very important so chromosome is contained in our nucleus of the cell now the daughter cell have the same number of chromosome as the mother cell ultimately our goal is to divide divide anything of the cell it meaning chromosome first nucleus will divide and chromosome will be divided it helps in the growth and repair of tissue in organism our ultimate goal is to growth and replace 
replace in the form of repairing the old tissues okay in the organisms so this is the mitosis these are chromosomes two blue number two blue and two number of red okay so you can see here two pairs of chromosome here and finally they divide into two daughter cell this is mother cell this is daughter cells okay you can see now specific cells of reproductive organs or tissue in animals and plants divide to form the gametes which after fertilization give rise to the offspring okay this is the uh, some overview of the reproduction process now specific cells of reproductive organ for example in the male in human male we have sperm sperm is a reproductive uh, structure is there and cell we can say the cell sperm is a cell so in animals and in plant also they divide to form the gametes okay they divide and form gamete male gamete and female gametes are there so our sperm is a male gamete okay and the egg of female is called as female gamete which after fertilization they will combine male and female combine will join and uh, they fertilize so process is called as fertilization and they will give rise to offspring offspring meaning new baby okay in humans new baby is called as offspring okay similarly in plants similarly in also other animals okay this process is basic fundamental they divide by different process called as meiosis now this gametes okay this is the difference between mitosis and meiosis mitosis occurs in cell cells of uh, normal our cell bodies okay but the meiosis meiosis only occurs in the gametes okay in dividing of the gametes okay so gametes are divided by the cell division called as meiosis so this is the difference between meiosis and mitosis so meiosis occurs only in the gametes division of gametes so which involves the two consecutive divisions two consecutive division meaning uh, first they will make two daughter cells and then from two daughter cells there will be another process of same and finally they make four four new cells when a cell divides by meiosis it produce four new cells finally okay so in meiosis the final product is four new cells four ओके माइटोसिस में जैसे दो सेल होते थे फाइनल प्रोडक्ट मियोसिस में हमें फोर मिलेंगे न्यू सेल्स इंस्टेड ऑफ जस्ट टू सो हियर इज द मियोसिस प्रोसेस यू कैन सी दिस इज वन फेज हियर फ्रॉम वन टू टू एंड अनदर फेज विल बी विल बी गिव टू द फोर सेल्स फोर न्यू सेल्स सो दिस आर फोर न्यू सेल्स एंड अनदर यू कैन सी हियर द क्रोमोजोम आर हाफ हियर टू क्रोमोजोम्स आर देयर okay but here half chromosome is there here two here half okay so uh, we can see two and this is one and one two one and one so here four four will be divided into two plus two and two plus two will be divided in one plus one and one plus one so here one plus one plus one plus one is equal to four and here also daughter cell sorry parent cell also is a four okay from four to 2 2 plus 2 and finally 4 so this is the meiosis okay the new cells only have a half number of chromosome as we see as we seen here half number of chromosome is there then that of the mother cell okay mother cells se usme kya hoga aadhe honge chromosome aadhe ho jayenge last mein can you think as to why the chromosome number has reduced to half in daughter cells why you have to think this thing why the chromosome number has reduced to the half in daughter cells okay so here guys our chapter is finish okay so thank you guys for watching and for attending here now our chapter number 5 is over here now in next video we will start our chapter number 6 okay so please uh, be ready for that and keep making notes and please uh, ask questions to yourself also and make some questions from the book okay thank you i will try to give you the question bank also 
थैंक यू गाइस जय स्वामीनारायण